Okay, what you see here is the Future Sound Systems Decade Counter DC-1. Uh, it's a limited edition version with a pink acrylic panel with black text. Um, now, pretty much um, what it was designed to do is just uh, go through ten uh, outputs sequentially. Uh, a bit like, a, a say, a gate sequencer or something would. Uh, but these outputs are actually brought to the front panel. So you can use them for, say, several envelopes uh, instead of just one. Um, therefore, it's quite, it's quite useful for drums and, and various other, th other things. But um, what I'm going to show you today is actually feeding um, audio into the clock reset and disable inputs at the bottom. Uh, and you can, you can get some quite strange effects from using like different pitches um, of oscillator at the disable uh, input when you've got it clocked. Now, I've, uh, at the moment, I've got um, the reset uh, 5 going into the reset. There you go. So that, that will um, drop the pitch of the incoming clock by two octaves. Um, so if I just play the sequence back to you, by the way, this is coming from a an Alasis Ion, the sequencing is by uh, the machine drum. Right, okay, so that's that's just the clock um, just running through. That's, that's simple enough if I just uh, zoom in on the actual panel. And the uh, audio is so fast, the LEDs can't actually uh, keep up with it. So that's simple enough, that's just a, a square wave clock. Now, um, pretty much I've got two, two outputs on the Alasis Ion and um, two oscillators active on it. And uh, with these two um, oscillators, I'm feeding one into the clock input and then the other into the, um, I'm going to feed the other into the disable input. Now this will create a, a very strange effect as the, the, the secondary oscillator will cut, cut off the actual clock input of the decade counter. Um, it'll just like pretty much stop it from actually counting. So um, if I just do that now, um, then we can experience some stranger sounds with it. Right, okay, now the uh, disable is uh, plugged in and connected. Um, pretty much I've got, I've got the secondary oscillator at uh, around the same pitch as, as, as the first one. So at, at the start, this won't really have any effect. Apart from like octave jumping and stuff. Now if you slowly take that out of tune, you get some like really gnarly, kind of nasty, nasty sounds. Um, kind of like phases in, in the two waveforms where they meet uh, and can therefore like be, brought, be uh, brought back into tune, like for, for instance now. Let's drop the uh, octave of that. Yeah, deeper sound. Of course you could do that by um, changing the reset point on the decade counter to 9, so you've got a uh, third octave lower. Disable oscillator again. Right now that's on a perfect seventh, so you get some kind of like nice kind of just random um, like gnarls in there and stuff. Of course, what you can also do, you can route that oscillator into the reset input. Uh, now, that can pretty much act as synchronization for oscillators which uh, don't actually have it.
Okay, so now I've plugged in the uh, secondary oscillator into the reset input of the decade counter. Now, um, this will kind of act as a strange kind of syncing feature. Um, it's not it's not quite the same, but it can it can do some strange things which normal um, oscillator syn uh, oscillator synchronization can't actually do. So if I start the sequence, you'll hear that that's got a nice kind of like fifth effect to it. nice kind of uh, interlocking pitches. So that was a short uh, demonstration of some of the uh, possibilities for the um, Future Sound Systems Decade Counter within the modular setup. Um, that panel was in a Eurorack uh, format for use uh, with dope for um, modules. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a Eurorack system, I, I prefer MOTM. But um, if you decide to order a module, uh, the module can be built uh, to your needs uh, for jack of that, sockets, uh, banana jack sockets, uh, power and the actual size of the panel. Um, obviously uh, the sequencing side of it is quite um, unique, you can you can reset and disable the clock um, with, with different modules and, and having having the actual outputs on the panel allows you to do a lot more than say just, just um, a normal gate sequencer would. Thank you for watching this demonstration of the Future Sound Systems Decade Counter DC-1.